You may have seen tents like this set up outside of Methodist Hospital downtown and wondered what they are being used for. A recent social media post by the Medics Union here in Indianapolis has some questioning the number of available ICU beds. WRTV's Megan Singh Torm is working to get answers on how hospitals are doing on space and why these tents are set up. These tents have been set up outside of IU Methodist since April. Leaders here say they haven't had to use them yet, but with COVID cases surging, they're getting closer and closer to needing them. When it comes to COVID-19 patients requiring hospitalization, IU Health has seen a double digit increase downtown in just the past few days. It's gone up basically from Tuesday where we're sitting around 55 or 60 to 100 today. Elizabeth Linden is the chief nursing officer for IU Health Methodist and University Hospitals. We are not at 100% capacity with our ICU level, but we are getting tight. A post from the Indianapolis Medics Facebook page this morning that got hundreds of shares said beds here were full and the hospital was getting ready to use these tents. That post has since been deleted as leaders with IU Health say it's inaccurate. Everything's perspective. So for example, this morning when you walk into the hospital, most of our ICU beds were physically full, but that's because we haven't moved the patients because they were downgrading to a different level of care or the surgeries hadn't come in. And so it's really a moving target. They tell us the tents are still up as a precaution and if needed, they can be used in a variety of ways. We can use them as a place to triage patients so they would come in through the tents. We could use them to house patients, um, med, med surge level patients. We can use them if we need to for IC level care because they are negative airflow and they, are, um, they have the capabilities to care for patients. Leaders here hoping it doesn't get to that point. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV.